12 August 2020, and I'm joined by Mr. Tinashe Jonasi from Ideal Zimbabwe. How are you, sir? Always a pleasure and an honor to be on Kabako Media. Fantastic. Today, I want us to discuss the statement by the MDC Alliance regarding the envoys that were sent by President Cyril Ramaphosa of South Africa to Zimbabwe and who returned without talking to any of the opposition parties or civic organizations. What is your opinion on that? My opinion is that the, the special envoys did the right thing because the MDC Alliance has proven that they lack political uh, depth, political intelligence or wisdom. Uh, they were refusing to talk to President E.G., saying he is illegitimate. Now, they want a dialogue with the President E.G., and they, they set their conditions that the dialogue must not talk about anything except legitimate issues. Zimbabwe is banning. Zimbabwe is banning under sanctions, is banning. And then you have all the guts of talking about the president. You still want to be president two years down the line. The special envoys, they did the right thing. Secondly, I want to uh, advise um, uh, Shumba Muramwe, uh, Comrade uh, Matema Danda and uh, Comrade uh, E.D. to say you have done good so far by not meeting Chamisa or MDC Alliance. Please. You, you, you considering you win 2023, your term is going to be eight years from now. Never make a mistake of meeting Nelson Chamisa and his failed handlers uh, who is Tendai Biti and Welshman Mube and the G40. Chamisa is being handled by political failures who are holding him to ransom and Zimbabweans to ransom because they want their way into into, into, into Mr. Emerson Nangagwa. Tendai Bit wants to be finance minister. He wants a GNU. The Kasukueres, they are funding Chamisa so that they, he caused this commotion. He did a gesture. And then they can find a way, a dialogue. They want, they assume it will include Chamisa, it will include the G40. So I'm urging President E. D. that please, you, you can make mistakes as a human being. Never make a mistake of meeting Chamisa. Chamisa he doesn't have national interests. He doesn't have Zimbabweans at heart. And those Zimbabweans who are saying Chamisa chere chete, they don't know, they don't love Zimbabwe, they don't love themselves. Chamisa's political career is now in the hands of Zanupia. The ANC International Committee yes. uh, leader, Lindwe Zulu, yes. yesterday yes. issued a statement and yeah. say that Zimbabwe has a crisis yes. and Idim Nangagwa is stripping Zimbabweans of their dignity. Yes. What do you think about that? No, ANC obviously is under pressure from the media, from the social media generated by MDC Alliance and the, and the, and the, and the G40. The, the, and, and remember, imperial powers, uh, they are behind the, the, these two formations. But ANC won't define the future of Zimbabwe. Lindy Zulu can say what she, she wants. He, she, she's allowed to comment, uh, to, to express her uh, mind. But Zimbabwe won't be told what to do by ANC. Okay, but is it not a mistake to ignore bodies like the ANC, which have stood by ZANPF through the years? There are so many Zimbabweans down here in South Africa mm -hmm. who are almost 4 million. Most yes. of them putting pressure on services here in South Africa. Don't you uh, think that this should be considered what they say? Okay. When we talk about deals, there is a good there are two types of deals, good deal and a bad deal. Chamisa doesn't want to have a, a dialogue that puts Zimbabwe national interest first. Chamisa wants a dialogue where political leaders in Zimbabwe meet while they discuss and hand over presidents to him. That's not a dialogue, and that's not a good deal. So, we can't, I mean, you, you, we can't converge and use the resources to fund the next one, Chamisa's president. When Chamisa is sober, you do not talk about presidents. It's two years after elections. So, that legitimate issue is to, to hell. It's, it's nonsensical. What, what about no, the crisis? Chamisa is not wanting to discuss about the crisis. 
Can Misa want to discuss about illegitimacy? Can Misa want, after the dialogue, to be handed over the president? So, the, 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 that, that's not a meeting to discuss crisis. A crisis is not Can Misa to be a president. That's not a crisis. So, a dialogue with Chamisa is to discuss the, Chamisa to end up as a president of Zimbabwe. Chamisa is trying a coup, a coup through mass demonstration that has failed. Now he wants a dialogue to give him the president. That is no. So, Zimbabweans must not think, number one, that the political crisis in Zimbabwe needs Chamisa to be a president through a dialogue. He, he wants, number two, Chamisa must not be viewed as the solution to Zimbabwe. No. Chamisa has done so well to sell a narrative that is the solution. is not. Chamisa is failing to be president. How can he be a solution to the country? So the perception that Chamisa holds the key and the password, that is the wrong perception. Chamisa, if he, if he loves Zimbabwe, he must start going to American Congress and talk about the sanctions to be removed. So they want... ED would have sold out, ZANU PF would have sold out if they can meet Chamisa. Okay, but Chamisa is not the one who invited the envoys. The envoys yeah. were invited, were sent by President Cyril Ramaphosa. Chamisa yes. did not ask what they should, that they should be asked to meet. They yes. were invited by the embassy of South Africa in Zimbabwe to be on standby since you saw the statement. They waited yes. from morning to evening. Yes. Yes. And they were waiting because they were invited. The, the envoy did well not to meet Chamisa. They showed Chamisa that he is nothing and is useless. So uh, the, the situation in Zimbabwe is going to make people do so searching. I mean, we can't be a country that could be a Jecha philosophy must be collapsed. Then Zimbabwe would move forward. Okay, what about the statement that was issued by the MDC Alliance? They said they want a political settlement. The MDC Alliance project is, is dying. Chamisa loves the presidential office. Chamisa wants to be a president. People are mistaking one thing. And, and a special envoy is a person who is sent to deliver a message. A mediator is a person who, who, who finds a political uh, agreement or settlement. So these people are not mediators. They were just sent, they were messengers from President Ramaphosa. And no one knows what was the message. If they didn't deliver it to Chamisa, to anyone, it means the message was sent to ED. So why did they set up the meeting with MDC Alliance if they were not supposed to meet them? Uh, they know they want attention. So they, 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 were, they, they, they played them fully. They, they, they were made to be foolish. That's it. Okay, but is there no crisis in Zimbabwe? No. It's, seriously, things are not well in Zimbabwe. But Chamisa can't be put on the table because he wants to be a president. Chamisa wants to be a president through mass demonstrations. They are failing. Now he wants a dialogue to get power. If he lost the elections, that's it. We should move forward as a country. Chamisa must not be, he's not part of that. Any, any dialogue with Chamisa is a useless dialogue because Chamisa wants to be handed over power. But when is Idim Nangaba going to meet other players? He's because not forced, it's like he doesn't want to meet anyone. He's not forced to meet anyone because a dialogue must be done in good faith. So you can't denigrate ED, you can't talk, and you don't recognize him as a president. So why are you meeting him? Let, okay, let's say Chamisa is the president of Zimbabwe, as he considers himself the president, although he, on social media. Why does he want to meet Munangagwa? Because the Munang, Munangagwa, to Chamisa, he rigged the election, he's not a president. So why Chamisa wants to have a dialogue with the ED? Chamisa is... It's because, eh? it, it's because outsiders are starting to see that there's a problem in the country and they're starting to interfere. So now it's South Africa, but very soon it is going to be SADC, it's going to be AU, it's going to be United Nations. Is that what we want? Yes. Yeah. If any country is entering Zimbabwe to, to help, they must enforce ED to talk to Chamisa. That is, there is no way and there's no scientific evidence that Chamisa is a solution to Zimbabwean problem. 
why, why can EG not meet other players then? Civic under organizations. No, not uh, under, under law. Which, to, under which law? No, not under law, but as a way yes. of solving a problem, as a way of consensus building. Okay. Why, why Zimbabweans think that the problem is in Zimbabwe wants a dialogue? What solution is there? What else is there? Okay. Any country right now, we, if we talk about Brazil or US, they are going through racial tensions but in the US. They are going through COVID-19 attack. Have you seen a dialogue in the US? Well, we I, I, don't so. I don't think so. Are, are we saying South Africa doesn't have problems? Are we saying Malawi doesn't have problems? Have you seen a dialogue? In Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe, we want to eat. We love to eat. A dialogue in Zimbabwe is number one, to give it a Misa president. Two, to create a government of national unity, or as Jendaibit says, a national transitional authority. They've been defeated in elections. They must accept that. Full stop. If any, if, you, if he is going to meet anyone, he must do so because he wants to. If not, there's no law, there's nothing. Such like AU, UN, US, they're not going to force a dialogue in Zimbabwe unless they do a dialogue in US. Every country in the world must be forced to do a, a dialogue. The AU must force every country, Nigeria, Botswana. There's a crisis in Botswana. President Kama wanted to put a stooge to, to replace him. And the president must just refuse and say, you can't make me a toy. And the Kama is angry. Was the one that this family to continue right, running Botswana like it's a dynasty, and now they are creating a, a fake, a, a fake crisis. Do, must they do a dialogue? No. If he indeed does a dialogue, I would even personally demonstrate at his office. Okay, Mr. Tinashe Jonasi, I think it's been very clear what you said that Idim Nangabwa must not accept to be forced into a dialogue with Chamisa, yeah. and that. Chamisa's own terms. Yes. And outsiders from South Africa, from other countries, yes. they've got yes. no right to force Zimbabwe to have a dialogue because in their own countries, there are problems, but no one ever forced them to do a dialogue. Yes. I want to ask you the final question. Yes. What then should happen? Because we agree that there's a crisis. What should yes. happen to, to, to fix this problem that we have? The crisis in Zimbabwe must not be viewed as ED only as ZANU-PF only, the crisis in Zimbabwe is because we, Zimbabweans, we don't want a solution first. Let me start with the Zimbabwean citizens. We don't want solutions to our country. We don't want Zimbabwe to work. Because we are supporting a leader. We are dying for a leader. We want Chamisa to be a president. We don't want the, 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 our currency to, 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 to have value. We don't want employment. Zimbabweans, when they criticize the government, they are criticizing the government so that the government must go and then Chamisa become a president. We don't have a revolution in Zimbabwe. Life would never change in Zimbabwe until we wage a revolution. What is a revolution? A revolution is every Zimbabwean to want unity. Every Zimbabwean to want life to change. Currently, we are fighting for Chamisa to be a president. And we are being used by Chamisa who want to be a president and holding the country at random. So the country must burn until we change our mindset. So far, we want Chamisa to be a president. So let's go. Whether he's going to be a president tomorrow or after 10 years, good luck in that mission. There won't be a solution to Zimbabwe until Zimbabweans want a solution. For now, we want government of national unity. We want Chamisa to be president. Good luck with that. All right, Mr. Jonasi, it has been very nice talking to you as usual. And I'll be back talking to you again on Monday. Is there anything else you want to say before we close? I, I would say to Zimbabweans, um, let's, as we are ignoring the real issues in our country, the country is going to go down. Chamisa is not a godfather of Zimbabwe. He got 2.1 million votes because he was representing a big machinery, which is MDC. 
getting money from the parliament. He was doing everything. He, if Chamisa is a solution, he was supposed to start his own party from the beginning. He's not. The more we idolize Chamisa, what has he done for Zimbabwe? He was a member of parliament in Kwazana. What did he do? He even failed to build a, a library. But we want someone who failed as a, as a member of parliament in a district of Zimbabwe to run the country. We are not serious. So ED must not meet Chamisa. Right, Mr. Jonasi, thank you very much for joining me this week. And I'll talk to you again next week, Monday. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much.